Welcome to a nearly new day in Imperium Galactic Survival. It's got forecast is for rain, and at the moment I'm still on my base waiting for the drone door chorus. They haven't arrived just yet. There's a couple of things I want to do on the base before we go out and do a bit of exploration. What I want to do is come out here because at the end of the last video I encroached on this alien tower and we hit a few drones and I just want to go out and check that so what we're probably going to do is come out here maybe curve up this way or round this area to see what we can find but before that I want to talk about a couple of things the first thing I want to do is just get in here and I want to make a things actually I think I need to get in here because I haven't unlocked them yet where if I can actually find it there we are I want to unlock that and as you can see I've now reached level 10 but what I want to do is get to level 12 so that we can build this deconstructor the problem is this deconstructor needs cobalt alloy which is going to be a little bit of a challenge so we're going to need to get out and be a bit more aggressive try and find some locations what I'm also hoping to find is a crash ship or something where we can start to get some hardened steel plates We've now unlocked that. Um, I can't see the point of unlocking. Pair station needs Zarkosium. So I would love to get that, but we can't actually do anything about that. I don't think there's anything else here. I don't need the extended fuel tanks for a reason that I'm just about to explain. Small vessel. I suppose I could unlock some of these. I'm looking to build a small vessel. I mean, I could do it from the blueprint, but half inclined to build one from scratch the small vessel I actually have oh there it is that's what I was looking for and maybe do that and I don't want to use up too many points anyway so I've done a bit of unlocking and of course it's raining it's not a surprise the next thing I want to talk about is something that I actually picked up whilst I was watching Span's latest video from a point of reference for any of you guys who follow the channel, it was the video where he was walking back across the planet after losing his small vessel to attack from a Polaris turret. And he just said this literally as a side, he, he wasn't talking it in the sense of this is a tip. He said that when he got back to his base he had to add a second capacitor to enhance his base. And I must admit, I'd never occurred to me to add a second capacitor. So I thought out of curiosity that's exactly what I'm going to do and just to show you guys what's been happening is that my batteries have been getting to 100% during the day so the extra storage was being wasted and by putting the extra capacitor in you can see this has now dropped to 49% so if we do get a bright day I, I will be able to get up even more storage here which is going to save me even more fuel here and here's the door the chorus of the local drones as we can get out here going to watch the come here. If I stand here I will act as a distraction for them. Yeah, got ya. And we're just going to jump in here and of course we're going to go and harvest the drones simply because they are a good source of resources in their own way. Oops, we're just going to get out here. And of course they come in a nice tight grouping now. If I stop about here, I should be able to use the drone to come out and... Whoops! A bit too enthusiastic there. Get you. Get you. And get you. And what can we get out of that? Yeah, got a pretty good haul. I think while I'm here as well, we'll just go and collect the berries. Because they're a useful thing to have. I'm just going to get back to the base. And fly into this my little docking area here. And whoops power off and of course I haven't got my jetpack on I'm just gonna put it over to here All right let's just get back into here let's 
just get into here. And this can all get tucked into there. I'm just going to shove. I'm getting so much minigun ammunition now, I don't know what to do with it all. And what I want to do now is what I was originally planning on doing, which is I want one of these and one of these. I better switch the power on. Could probably do with a little. Well, we got some extra ammunition in here. So let me just fish out the ammunition from here. Yeah. Really do with putting my bike somewhere. Maybe. I mean, it's going to be a little bit of a risk, but the bike takes up quite a lot of capacity, and I don't really need all, a lot of these storage cells as well. So, because at the moment I'm going to restrict my exploration to the local area. In fact, we could probably drop it even lower than that. And I'm actually a bit hungry, so I might as well. Uh, one of those. I think the other thing I wouldn't mind making, actually, while I'm thinking about it, is got here. We put in one, two, three, five of those. Let's see. F4. Where are they? And I'll just drop that over there for the moment. I know, strictly speaking, I don't need both of these, but I like just putting them in because it makes the, the base look a little bit more complete. The main one I do want is the med station here. So, I mean, I can see the way they fit together. I mean, I think that looks really cool. The main reason I want is the med station because I'm still getting bounced occasionally by the, the local bug uglies. And just going to have a quick look. We've got two more to go so we're just gonna let that make it should be finished then I can turn off the structure just to save a bit of power and I'm just gonna click four and I'm just gonna pick that up I'm just gonna put that in this I could put it in the small vessel directly but I'm just gonna get back out here just have a quick check to see what yeah, we're not getting that much power because it's raining at the moment. We're only getting two levels. But without with the constructor switched off, we should still be able to gain power. I'm just going to jump in here. F4. Uh, ammo box. Where are you? Small ammo box. Let's drop that in there. So we've got about 1,800 rounds of ammunition. Oops. Turn the thrusters on. And what I want to do now is come this way. We set a marker there. I know I'm flying against the the day. I mean, normally if you explore, you you want to go this way so you keep the light. But I think because it's a, early in the day, we should be able to get out here and do a reasonable amount of exploration. I do want to get in on that tower and see what goes on. What happened is when I came out here at the end of the last video, I actually ran into a few drones. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Let's just make sure yeah, we're okay. Hopefully the, the storm will blow away. We're now down to wind. We're in Talon territory. So maybe if we drop down a little bit we might be able to see some hostiles which will give us a little bit of um, nah, I don't think I could bother that guys I mean, I could really do with a mission actually so what should we do? wildlife cam, what is wildlife cam? it says wonderful performance on the last mission we're afraid we need to invest more time in being on this planet some minerals seem to affect wildlife we do not have a protector your bearing shows that you are a skilled explorer. Maybe ask you in a favour and scout out a few order points. Only for checking out the living conditions of the native animals, of course. I've got no idea what this is. We're going to find some deposits. I mean, has anything appeared on the map? Not seeing anything. 
It says there's something to the east. That's good. Now I'm going to be a little bit circumspect approaching this area. As I say, I did get bounced by drones as I approached the alien tower. So let's just get in here. I can't even see the alien tower in this rain or wind. Where is the tower then? Oh, let's just keep pushing in. There's a drone. Oh, oops. Now this is where I've got to be a bit careful. Because last time I went down to loot the drone, I was bounced by other drones appearing. And where, where's he gone? He disappeared? No, he's not. He's down there. Okay. I'm just gonna. Ah, there he is. There's another one coming in over there. So if I can get in quickly, and I've lost the drone. See, yeah, I think we've lost that one. Where's the? I mean, it says I'm right above him, but I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's just get in very, very quickly. down here. Shift F. Just jump out. Up and round. And see if we can get to the other one. Can we see him? It's saying he's over here but I can't see it. Oh there he is. Tucked down there. Just going to drop down, getting close. Grey against grey is probably not the best way, but we should be able to. I can hear some creatures as well. So we've looted a couple of drones. Now this says there's something away to the east. Got a copper deposit. I think we're just going to fly around that alien tower at the moment. Right, we found some Promethium. Wow, that's great. There's a rocket drone projecting it, protecting it. Let's fly, drop down again. I'm not sure why my ship is being a bit sluggish. Can't see that drone. I think maybe I'm just going to leave him alone. I'm just going to go away to the east. And see what's over here. Well, I'm really interested in east and south. Okay, what's over here? I can. There's a drone in front of me, but I can't see him against the trees. Oh, there he is! In quick. Gotcha. Ah, there's another one coming in. I stayed low. Just get in here. This is the problem I had last time. I think it's worth doing this because you can get some good resources from this. It's just that there's a certain amount of risk involved in doing this. It's your buddy. Nothing else showing up on the radar. You can just get down here and grab you. I'm just going to fly up. There's another one away to my 
right. It says he's over there. I think we're just gonna keep going south and east. Oh, what's that over there? That's something. Found an unknown helix. What on earth is an unknown helix? Still says there's more over here. Okay, let's check this out. While I'm thinking about it, is container controller. Let's drop this in here. Oops. Probably what I want to do is make one of those. Ah, oh, this could be useful. Unknown. Looks like there's something on the top. Now, one thing I have noticed, and I actually again returning to Spange's video, is that these POIs now seem to have gained hostile creatures or something in them. Actually, if I jump here, let's get the. So I think there's been a. Oh, there's the core. Anything else in here? No, I can't see anything further down here. Uh, I think this could be useful. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get. Actually, if I drop them down, and if we, I can reload. We'll do this the quick way. Gotcha. And just gonna level off. Just keep an eye out for drones. I think if we can get up high enough here, let's get on top of here. And how much space have I got in here? Now I don't want to overload my ship, so what I'm actually going to do is I can hear somebody screaming. I'm just gonna do this just in case. Um, I think we're just going to salvage. Oops. And rather than just dump everything into the top container of the ship, if I put it into my inventory, if the inventory fills up, uh, I will know that I'm starting to overload my ship. That's what I'm thinking. You can see here what I'm after is the hardened steel plates. The reason for the hardened steel plates and by salvaging them rather than taking the blocks is that it means that I can use the hardened steel plates to make the smaller blocks for a ship. Now the downside of, of hardened blocks is they're very heavy and I'm hoping that by actually just salvaging this stuff out across the top here, actually I'm probably doing this the wrong way actually, let me just clear this top off. I need to get at that container, don't I? Okay, let's just actually take that out in the center. Let's grab the. Yeah, this is going to be a nice. This is exactly what I was looking for. Although I was expecting it to be a crashed ship, not a, a tower. And I think what we're going to do is just pull back a little bit, drop down. And I think if I come in about here, I'm just going to get the double tab. And I think what I want to do is be able to get in here. I, I don't want to hit this because it would drop down, actually. I think if I, if I widen this out a little bit, take this out here. I mean, I don't want it to collapse. What I just want it to do is be wide enough for me to get the ship in. Actually, let's just take that out. And maybe we'll take that out. If I can just widen this area out. Um, but still try and keep the structural. Wow. I'm getting through a lot of... Let's see. And can we ease in a little bit closer? Is that gonna be. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's just 
now I can move this. Oops, I to press the. Oh, we're okay at the moment. Right, let's see what we got in here. We've got some thrusters. Probably won't let me put those into there, but it might go into. Nope, they're not going to go into there. Okay. They're heavy. Got a laser rifle that could be useful. That takes us up there. Uh, I don't know. Nope, they're both too heavy. Okay, that's just going to have to wait. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to take a few more of these blocks before we leave. I mean, obviously, I can't strip out too much of this building because. I'll lose those two large thrusters. What we can do is just take out these off the top. This is just plain steel plates. I'm just gonna pick up some more of these guys. Okay guys, I'm gonna take a few more blocks and then we're just gonna move on even though it is pouring with rain. I think it's gonna give me enough hardened steel blocks to start what I want to do. I'm just gonna grab this. Oops. Luckily. Um, what you can do now is if you can get in quick enough, you can actually get something before it drop falls to the ground. That could be a useful thing to do because I mean, I'll try and do it here actually. So, for example, say if I come in here and undermine this. And then if you just grab that, see all the plates I was able to snatch. And you can snatch a, quite a big pile of plates without actually using the multi-tool to pick it up. So that's a, if you, But you've got to be a bit quick on it, guys. And I think I've got quite a lot of stuff now stashed. And I'm probably a little bit overloaded and I can hear something down below. What the hell's down here? Whoops. Hello. Hello, guys. You want to be. I mean, I can't see them, but. I'm just gonna. In this rain, it's been a bit miserable. We've got 520 points here. So maybe if I switch the lights on, we'll actually be able to see what I'm doing. Um, I think we're just going to level off back up. Of course, seeing we've killed them, we might as well gather it. Sorry about the poor visibility, guys. Sometimes this game seems to conspire against you to do something. There's the. Can I see the third one? Not that it's important, but are you the third one? Back up a bit. Yep. Right. Where are we? I think what I'm going to do, guys, is we're going to fly south quickly, or slightly southwest, actually. get back into daylight and maybe we'll get away from this storm I mean it's a little bit annoying and the ship's been a little bit sluggish you can see like how quickly it loses momentum I don't think I'll be able to do much more we're getting back into daylight now I mean it's still gonna be miserable because it's rain try and open up a little bit more of the planet before we return to base Actually, I need to eat something. Get into here. Uh, open the fridge up. Just pop that. And let's have a quick look at the map. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is we're just going to head back home, I think. And I'll offload this stuff, and that would be where I'll wind the video up, actually, I think, guys. Wow, we found a derelict base. 
Okay, it's not sure. Let's just check this out. Yeah, I, I don't think there's much in here. I don't. I mean, what we can, actually what I will do is just have a quick spot check. See if we can. I'm just going to get in close here. Yeah, this is armor. This is just steel plates. Which is, I mean, it's not to be sniffed at, guys. So, I mean, it's better than mining iron. Yeah, this is predominantly. So, we'll just grab a, a double row of steel plates on the way through. I mean, this is useful to know that this is a source of steel plates because it will mean that. Oops, nearly fell off the top. It, it will mean that I will know where to come. Oh, look at that. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, uh, I want a bit of revenge here. One of these scorched me uh, a couple of parts ago. Uh, I don't know how many, how many hit points I got for that, but... And we'll just see what we can get we got from this guy. Let's have a look and see what we get from him. Nothing special. I hope that can just drop that in the fridge. Yeah, I'm honoured in... I mean, the other thing I've also done which I probably didn't mention is I've now mined out all the resources in this area so we may have to come over here and start mining out this area so I mean we are honoured amongst the Talon they should be happy about me doing that I'm not sure what this scout all deposits is so I mean maybe we'll check that out eventually anyway let's just get home guys I'll see you once I get back to the base because nothing much is going to happen. Actually, there's a small wreckage here. Now I'm close to my home base. I think what we're going to do, guys, is just going to drop down here. And whoops, too low. And as I say, I'm now close enough to home. I think what I am going to do is, whoops, not, not close enough. I think we're just going to drop down gonna get in here just going to just gonna salvage out this wreckage shouldn't take long because it's only steel plates oops that's gone flying off way too far but we might be able to grab it Oh, certainly want the lights that give me some optical fiber. So I'm just gonna right. Actually, let's see if we can do that undermine te technique again. So if I come here, ha <laughs> ha. this. I actually quite like the fact that you can you don't lose the resources now when you do this so, so just and I'm just gonna back it with a quick F again. I only got two stale plates that time. that's not nothing there anyway just clear out the rest of this and at least the rainstorm's gone over whilst I'm doing this and I think that's about it guys I'll have one more couple of bits of here 
and I think that's about it. That now gives us 306 steel plates, which is quite useful. And the ship's a bit lopsided. I think we'll just fly low in case we see anything here. There's a couple of pangolins here. I mean, it's all useful XP and also a bit of meat. Get a bit closer. Should be able to. And the other one was up this way somewhere, wasn't it? There it is. And I'm just going to grab this. Oops, I got a bit too close. And we're back in daylight, so I can turn the lights off, try and conserve a little bit of fuel. That wasn't a... Oh! <laughs> I think the local spiders are back. There's a spawn point that's very, very close. I just jump out and come this way. And let's pick up the shotgun just in case. And I think it's just gonna up that constructor, let's drop that in there, and the fridge, let's drop this in here like that, if I come out here you will see these, I think there's a spawn point very close to here, Wait a and every so often these guys just pop up, there's normally four of them, there's only, th I can only see three today, Oh, uh, maybe the other one's run away. Anyway, let's get up here. I'm also, sort of grab this as well while I'm out here. I mean, the nice thing about this base is that you've got all these resources around, which means technically I'm never going to run out of food or the key resources. We've got the berry bushes over there as well. I mean, the sentry guns do really well. The other thing I've been doing is the insects I no longer uh, kill with the sentry guns but what I've been doing is every so often I do a fire sweep manually and of course now I've got a med bay that makes things a little bit safer. Anyway guys I think this is where I'm going to leave it we're just going to a bit more uh, keep the just turn this to food I mean what I do is I, I tend to leave this here so that it's actually what we can do is just drop that in there for the moment just in case what we'll do is just clear out the SV so I'm just going to come here it's um, going to come up to the container controller and structure can put this in here getting some gold got some warp and taxid oscillators and now uh, I mean we're getting some really good stuff in here now to build things with of course that can go into storage uh, once we get a rocket launcher or something we can be able to use that now we've got a laser rifle a drill like well we've got two laser rifles three laser rifles four laser rifles I just need a deconstructor to be able to take advantage of them and just to give you guys a bit of an example Hello boys, you're just getting a bit too close. I think that's another thing, is that when you shoot them the first time, they go hostile and then the sentry gun can finish them off. So that's another little trick guys, I'm just going to go and get that. Anyway, I think this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it interesting. Next part, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm 
I'm half inclined to extend the base a little bit but there's also part of me that says that it's time to work on a small vessel that's got a bit more capability I mean I could armor up this ship a little bit but I'm a little bit worried about the weight carry capacity on it but that's all for the future guys so this is where I'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the video and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming